Hello, hello YouTube. How you guys doing? It's your girl Simply Love with Spirit Truth Tarot. And I'm here to give you a reading for the new millennium 2020 for the sign of Leo. Welcome Leo. First thing I want to let you know coming to the new millennium. First I want you to know you are um, the uh, sun. Okay, you represent the sun, the planet, the sun. And the planet and the sun has to do a lot with the ego. Okay, it deals with the ego, and it also uh, symbolizes I am. Okay, so you're you're symbolizing the sun uh, with the ego, and uh, it's a, a, a about you. I am. You know, the sun represents you know the God in in all of us. You know, that's where uh, we come from. That's where we return to. It's the level of our consciousness. Your consciousness level is I am, and dealing with your ego. Okay, the ego part of you. So let's get started here, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Welcome all you newbies. I thank you all for subscribing. Uh, remember to go and look at your mid-months in December to see uh, your comments. If you left any comments, you may be one that was chosen to get a free reading. You have to uh, reply to me um, via email. I left my email and all that. If you don't see it, uh, in the reply, just look in the description below. My phone number, everything is there. I'm going to be doing that until I say I'm not doing it or until Spirit says uh, don't do that anymore because I'm going to be, you know, uh, uh, letting you guys know when I give a special again, uh, $15 for a 30 minute reading that's coming up for you guys. Uh, you'll hear it through a video. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have your buttons turned on to where you get um, the. Uh, Get all your uh, notifications from me if you're subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I want to welcome you all. So, let's get this thing started. I forgot where I was starting from. Okay, let's see what you all about here. Okay, oh wait a minute, I'm sorry. I might not go in the same direction here. Okay, we got the North Note. Okay, I got the North Note and South Note. And I'm going to see where 2020 is going to get you. Wow, that's the card that fell out already. Y'all must want to talk about something. I hope you all being safe out there and enjoying your family, your friends, and things like that. And just enjoying yourself don't do too much of something so i'm gonna close my eyes and uh just pick which one north note south note whichever comes out that one i fell out so um your energy coming into 2020 is within the north node okay and the north node talks about um where's my glasses sorry about that y'all the North Note talks about <clears throat> destiny and faded. So there's something that's destined and faded for you in 2020. So look out for that. So I'm going to use <coughs> my deck here. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to use my deck here. Um, you're welcome to purchase as well. I have all my decks that I use in this reading of mine listed down below. Okay. And this is called a Romance uh, Lenormand. This is the Lenormand deck, uh, a romance from Lenormand, okay? Okay, so let me start with those and see what goes on here. Give me some messages. Now, I'm going to start off like general, like an all-around family, friends, relatives, boyfriends, girlfriends, um, <coughs> whatever it may pertain to you. But it is general, so it could be talking about anybody or anything in your life, okay? So we're going to get that part out of the way. This is an extended uh, reading for 2020. So you're going to be getting a lot of messages. With your popcorn, your candy, whatever it is that you like to do. And uh, listen up. Okay. Leo. Leo. What we got up here first? We got a letter coming. We're going to get some kind of communication from someone. Uh, it's going to be happy news. Whatever the news is coming in, Leo, it's going to be happy. All right? So look forward to that. If it hasn't happened already, I want you guys to leave your comments and stuff because, like I said, at the end of the month, I'm going to choose a couple of people for free reading. You have to have your bells and whistles on so you can, you know, go back, see the reply, and reply to me. Only if you want to. You don't, you know, you don't have to. It's not forced upon you or anything like that. 
But um, it's a great opportunity, you know, with this season, spending money on things and stuff like that. And I am going to do the fifteen um, dollar reading for thirty minutes. I want to bring that up. I'll do that in a separate video and pre get myself prepared for that. Because the last time I was, you know, oh my god. <laughs> so you have the moon card here as well. So your moon card says, um, honor, honor comes to others to see your light. So there, you know, your light. You're going to hear some good news from someone. You know, and other people are going to honor you for it. Some of you may be getting a promotion about or something like that. Some of you may be getting uh, a certificate, some kind of gratification for something that you've done. Um, and you got the sun. Wow, Leo. The sun. There will be success in all that you do. Again, I'm picking up a lot of work energy, something at work or something that you do like volunteer work or some type of activist type work too for some of you. I feel like you're going to get recognized for that. Great recognition is coming in for you uh, for 2020 here, uh, Leo. We get one more. Wow, you got the flower, a gift of happiness to come. You got You got some good stuff coming up, Leo good stuff congratulations on that for 2020 that's just the beginning that's just a kicker right there now let's look at my little girls here and see what they have to say sun moon rising will be the sign for leo please sun moon rising will be the sign for leo please okay your first message is bravery so, you know, be brave at this time. You got a lot of bravery coming up at this time. Feeling really good about yourself. Explanation, you may be, like I said, giving a speech or somebody giving you some kind of speech. Um, definitely some communication coming in from somewhere. Um, and it's going to bring you growth and expansion. So a lot of growth is coming out of this. Growing yourself, growing through this recognition or whatever it's going to be. Um, friendships is going to bring on a lot of friendships, a lot of people coming to you. I just feel like this is some activist stuff, something you do for the community for some of you. Please leave your comments. And it's going to, you're going to take action on it, okay, from whatever it is that here. Some of you, again, I feel like you're getting some kind of uh, promotion at a job. Okay, or you may be going into business of your own. I just heard that too. Okay, let's pick up some more energies here. Oh, here's one that wants to come out. I bet we'll just stick it out like right here. Okay, Leo, you have strength. That's your card. The strength card is you, right? Or is it the sun? I'm sorry. Strength card is you, okay? You being strong, you being courageous, you um, uh, leveling up, okay? And taming the beast with inside of yourself. And there's a union, okay? Again, I feel like there's a gathering or something in honor of yourself or honor, somebody honoring you, okay? And um, you're going to get some type of wisdom out of it, okay? The wisdom is coming to your way. Very good. I mean, we're starting off really well here, uh, Leo. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay, let's see what the angels have to say. Spirit God. What do you have to say to Leo? There's one. There's one. There's one. You got travel, okay? You're going to have safe travels as well. So I feel like you're going to be going somewhere. There's something out there. You're going somewhere. It's going to be a, a very safe travel. Your angel, your angel spirit guides want you to know it. they will be safe. They will be watching over you. Um, you have uh, generosity. Okay, something's ge generous 
It's over something generous, I believe, that you've done it and, or you're feeling generous because of it. You're going to get some kind of reward. Didn't I just say that? You're in, you're getting some kind of award, some, a lot of you Leos out there. So just pray. Stay in prayer and be thankful, okay? This is the new year, new millennium time to be thankful for all these gifts that you're getting here. For this praise, this rewards and honors and things like that and recognition and promotions and all the hard work you put in dedication. I hear like some of you had uh, applied for uh, or going to or applied for something um, production, some kind of production company or something like that. That's what I just heard. Some kind of production company. Okay, let's see what we got here. Two, three. Okay. Okay, now your angel says peace and harmony. Angel, uh, Radio. Thank, <laughs> thank you for surrounding my life with a harm, harmonious light. So it's time to be thankful. They're giving you the light. They're shining their light upon you. Your angels are. Okay, leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap. Uh, a, a leap. Angels, thank you for doing it with me. So your angels are, you know, saying, say thank you for doing that with you. Um, because they're going to bring it, it's going to bring you some peace and harmony, okay? And a uh, spiritual animal. Thank you, animal kingdom, for blessing me, blessing my path with love. So you got a lot to be thankful and grateful for here in the new millennium. I am so glad, so glad to hear that. Now let's see what you're working with, okay? What's Leo working with? What they're working with? Give me this one word what they working with. Okay, you got Helen of Troy, beauty. Helen of Troy, you got beauty here. Okay, so something beautiful is about to spark in your life. So that's what you working with coming into 2020. Congratulations to you. So I'm going to read, start your love reading here. Okay, with my deck here. <clears throat> Uh, this is the, um, people are sending me messages all day, and that's what you're hearing. I'm sorry for the noise. Um, this is going to be my deck. Um, I'll list all my decks that I've used for myself that you uh, can purchase as well for yourself. I do have them on other sites and, and, and my website. All that information will be listed below, okay? So this is the Aqu new Aquarius New Age Tarot that I'm going to start off with. And I'm going to confirm the cards with another deck that's not mine. Okay, we start off with the King or Queen member. General is gender, gender, it's not gender specific. I got uh, uh, my retainer in, my tooth retainer. It, it does make me say some words differently, so I apologize. Um, so we're talking about a male, female here, uh, which could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, someone who is very dedicated, honest, very giving, kind, and loving, okay? Um, and they're very stable, okay? Very stable. They're quiet. They normally stay to themselves. Their environment is very controlled. And what I mean that is like this, they, they stabilize everything around them has to be in order, okay? What are they here for? Okay, we got the, and we got the knight or it's female or female coins. So it's another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, uh, but they could be a little younger. So there's two males or two females here so far. Um, it looks like the, somebody's holding you know, kind of like holding back or something. Now, I'm going to put this out there. What I heard, this could be a male-on-male -male relationship some, for some of you, okay? Uh, but somebody's holding um, holding back. And they're, you know, trying to figure something out. They're thinking something over, mauling something over. It may have something to do with a third party, you know, maybe choosing Maybe they have a choice to make, so that's why they put, put their, they're on pause right now, okay? They're on pause, and they're thinking about things, or it could be you, okay? 
who you're going to choose here in this third party, three people. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, okay. Um, the Ace of Pentacles talks about new beginnings and it's stable and it's a good foundation, solid foundation here. Uh, all new. It's all about newness, okay. And here we have the Page of Wands. It's going to be some type of uh, news coming to you that's going to bring you some type of joy, excitement, uh, feeling courageous, feeling um, um, just bringing some kind of uh, passion, some passionate news, okay? So we have the Ace of Swords, okay? And so that's somebody bringing some clarity. You see in clarity or somebody bringing you clarity it, and you win. It's a winning kind of clarity, the truth. Somebody's bringing the, the truth and it brings on clarity with inside of you or someone else. Okay, and then you got the five of coins. Okay, the clarity may be that you may lose someone out in the cold uh, a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn or it just may be um, somebody may be leaving a situation, going and fending for themselves. But this is like a cold energy, like somebody being really cold about a situation once they have some clarity and some truth that comes along. Somebody look like they're going to get kicked out or left in the, kicked to the curb or left out. Okay, because a choice is going to be made here. And the Six of Coins is all about balance and stability, okay? Um, somebody may be, and the reason why, somebody may be in a relationship due to finances, okay? Giving or receiving more than, than, than giving. Giving more or receiving more than what the other is. It's like, it could be something that's imbalanced or something. Somebody just wanting money. Maybe that's what the clarity comes out to be, and also a third party it looks like, because here's a king or queen of cups. Somebody who is just loving, okay, and ready to offer love. You get Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a fire sign, Leo, that's you. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay, now we have the Page of Swords. Now somebody's stalking. Somebody's trying to get in somebody's business. They may be, you know, um, ambitious, very ambitious, very curious. This is a curious person. Um, someone who likes to snoop. Somebody could be going through your page. Um, somebody could be riding by your house. Because this could be a stalker energy. Okay. Who do you love? Who you loving on? Because somebody got kicked to the curb and it may be this page of, of uh, swords. They got something to say, but they're not saying nothing yet because they watching. They just sitting back watching, uh, feeling out things, uh, trying to see what's going on. But they're not really saying anything. But they want to say something, but they're just, they know something. They've been cut out of a situation, so they're not really saying nothing. So they're just snooping. So let me go ahead and verify this for you, um, Aries. I'm sorry, Leo. Leo, Leo. Don't get that wrong, it's Leo. <laughs> okay, for this um, King of Coins, we got the Chariot. Yeah, somebody wants to move on. This is an action card. Somebody even might be traveling. Again, you know, traveling, moving. Uh, this is the uh, achievement card, you know, actually achieving. Somebody's just like pulling their self together and moving forward um, in confidence. Okay, now what's this knight doing here? Why is somebody holding back? Because they want to be single. Somebody's stopping, thinking about what they want here. And they want to be single with the nine of coins, okay? Be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Now, what's going on with this three of cups? Um, some information, something somebody found out about, you know, it could be uh, some type of communication coming in from somewhere else, elsewhere. Somebody may have to travel. Somebody might be coming to see someone to communicate with them about a third party. 
or finding out about a third party, some type of communication coming in really fast. Now, what's this Ace of Coins doing here? The Ace of Coins is the Eight of Coins. Got a lot of uh, Earth energy coming in here. Somebody who wants to uh, establish um, a new beginning and they want to put their hard work and energy into it, okay? Or they may have done that already. Okay, now what's the page of... Somebody might be... Somebody's leaving someone else for, for a third party, okay? And they're going to put their hard work and energy into this because it's new. It's a new beginning. And it's exciting news for someone, okay? And we got the Seven of Cups. It's going to leave somebody, you know, very, very confused, you know? Their head is going to be in the clouds emotionally. They're going to be emotionally drunk, okay? <laughs> Uh, very confused, um, worried about uh, if someone has, you know, options, other options. Okay, now what is this Ace of Swords here for? Ace of Swords is here because of the Four of Coins. Somebody don't want to let go of somebody wanting to start a new beginning. Somebody, you know, don't want to let go. Or somebody's just letting go, okay? Because when it's upright, it's somebody holding on really tightly to a situation. You know, they're just holding on. This one is somebody, you know, just not holding on to the situation, whether it's you or the other person. You're not holding on to it. You're letting it go. You're dropping all the, uh, um, just the, the once was stable. Now, this five of coins, yeah, somebody's really leaving somebody here out in the cold. Now, this five, five of coins talks about leaving someone out in the cold or kicking somebody out, and it's verified by the king or queen of cups. It's because somebody else is, somebody's leaving to offer their love to someone else, or their love has been offered somewhere else, elsewhere. Okay, now we got the six of cups. One fell out just that fast for the six of cups. Uh, yeah, it's a burden. You know, this responsibility when it comes to money or finances or some type of um, uh, balance of, of, of uh, what am I trying to say here? Stability. It's, it's a burden. Somebody's carrying a heavy burden. Okay, with the Ten of Wands. That's why. They figure, you know, this was just a little bit too much, um, and they just could, they just can't. They have to drop off those ten wands because it's in the way. They can't move uh, and can't see where they're going because they're carrying too much. That's why they're ending this relationship. Now, the, excuse me, the Queen of Cups is that's not supposed to be there. The Queen of Cups is verified by the Emperor. Okay, so this could be, you know, like I said, a, mar a marriage or someone who has gained control of their life, okay? They gain control of their life and they may be accepting a, a, a love offer from this king or queen of cups. Moving on. Now, what about the stalker card here? This page of swords. What's their problem? Well, the seven of swords. You know, the deception, you know, finding out about a deception because, you know, they've been snooping around, trying to find out what's going on, collecting all kind of information, but they've been kicked to the curb because of, you know, a third party situation. Okay, if you see here, there's two people um, and they're being sneaky about it. Okay, somebody kind of like sneaked off and let this, this person, you know, in the back here while they're... Uh, entertaining someone else so that's what they found out that's why they were snooping they even i'm hearing somebody uh hired a private investigator to find all this out because this could be due to a marriage or a uh a long-term relationship okay okay but i feel like this this is going in um leo's favor okay someone did this to you and you guys um kind of felt like it was just too much you know was too much so you've reached out or somebody else reached out to you uh, with a love offer something that's more stable somebody who is more in control of their life 
somebody who puts in the hard work they want to start over or for some of you i'm picking up an energy that there could be you know a, a breakup to make up situation it could go either way all right it could but somebody i don't know this third party situation here let me see if i can pull one more card here it is about a marriage though it is or a, a couple that live together Ten of Cups, yeah. Probably it was a marriage or some type of... Somebody's leaving someone else to be in a more stable relationship. And um, somebody, this is the one that I believe been kicked to the curb because they found out about a third party or somebody just wanted to move on. And that's all, the, um, that's all I'm going to say for right now. Uh, these are just general energies. Don't do nothing drastic or anything like that. They might not even be talking about you. Uh, look at your other signs. Uh, it could be talking about your cross watchers that's watching. Um, so, you know, just take a look into the, the, those situations and see. Um, or just get yourself a personal private reading, okay? Okay. Now what I'm going to do to end your reading, I'm going to give you the Confessions of a Doll, which are my creations as well, and uh, Love and Romance Answer Oracle Cards, which are my creations as well, and they've been selling like freaking hot cakes. I love these cards. And I thank you so much, Spirit, for giving me the inspiration to make them. And I have a lot of other cards that are inspirational, you know, has messages on them for you that you can use on a daily basis uh, to do a lot of self-help. Okay, what do we have for Leo, Sun, and Rising, and Venus? Let's see what we got here. Okay, Leo, first card we got here is wedding. Um, like I said, I told y'all it has something to do with a marriage, all right? You may be getting remarried again for some of you. Some of you, it's about a marriage, okay? That, you know, maybe somebody's trying to save here. Or for some of you, I'm picking up an energy that you're going to get remarried again. Uh, to somebody else, um, a woman or a male has come is going to be coming into your life who's more mature, more stable, and that came out in the reading as well. So congratulations to you there. Um, let's see what the messages of uh, what the dolls have to say. They've been through a lot, so they have some messages for you here. I'm gonna a couple here, and then I'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy your 2020. <clears throat> okay, so the first one says here you have um, Tanya. This is Tanya. Sorry for the glare, y'all. Tanya. And Tanya says, never do something permanently foolish just because you are temporarily, temporarily upset. So for some of you, just made, like I said before, you know, with the different scenarios that you, you know, maybe in a marriage or a long-term relationship and you might, you or the other person might have got upset and, you know, dialed into a third party situation because you were upset about maybe something that you found out about him or her or whatever the situation may be. Um, so... <clears throat> Don't 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 be don't be a fool for some of you is what I'm feeling. And we got Geneva. Okay, and Geneva says a ship is made to take you places. So if your relationship is not going anywhere, um, it's time to abandon ship. So, you know, for some of you they're just saying it's, some of you is you know, you know it's your time to go. All right? That's and, and that verifies what I said about those two scenarios. So there you go, um, 
uh, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And again, go back to mid-December's and see if you if you made a comment there. You maybe have won a um, a free reading. You don't have to. You're not obligated to do that, but it's it, you know I'm offering it. Okay, especially for this season that we're going through right now. Um, I'm, I'm, I really put, want to put myself out there to try to help as many people as I can, and I am going to be offering. So make sure your bells are on. Make sure you're subscribed. So you, I'm going to put out a video of of uh, you getting a 15 minute uh, for 15 dollars. You get a 30 minute reading. I'm going to put that out. So make sure your bells and whistles are on so you can receive that information. Okay. I also put it in my community tab. You guys check my community tab out. I'm always putting some positive energy out there or some reminders or just something um, uh, that somebody may need to hear. I'm always posting on my community site about different things. So check my community site out. Also check out my playlist. I, always, I have a big playlist there for uh, meditation, uh, for veganism. If you want to, you know, stop eating meats and start eating the right things. Uh, and um, just check it out and see, okay? It's all there for you. And thank you so much, and you have a great one. Love you all. Bye.